again to yet another episode of Technophilia. Hey, have you heard about the term biotechnology? Yes, a technology based on biology. You guess it right. As climate change looms over our future, many industries are turning to biotechnology for solutions to make all aspects of our lives more sustainable for the environment. Let us see few products. Can I use the restroom? Sure. I will show you a new technology. Technology for that too. Our project is on bio toilets. Sanitization refers to public health conditions related to clean drinking water treatment and disposal of human excreta and sewage. Preventing human contact with feces is a part of sanitization in hand washing with soap. Open defecation in India. Open defecation can pollute our surroundings and cause health problems and diseases. Bio toilet is a decomposition mechanized toilet system which decomposes human excretory waste in the digester tank using specific hydrated bacteria aerobic or anaerobic further converting it into methane gas, carbon dioxide gas and water. The types of bio toilets are vacuum toilets based on the principle of direct transport from the toilet bowl to the tank aided by vacuum creation in the tank and pipeline. Zero discharge toilet system. In the zero discharge toilet system, waste is collected at the terminus and then processed. Solid and liquid separation is done in the tank by itself and liquid is recycled as flush water. Advantages of bio toilets No bad smell in toilets from the tanks, no infestation of cockroaches and flies, fecal matter in the tank not visible, no maintenance required. There is no need of adding bacteria or enzyme, no clogging of digester, reduction in organic matter by 90%. Application on bio toilets, it prevents contamination of water resources by treating human waste and water. It is an innovative method to decompose waste in an eco-friendly and economical manner. Avoid a dirty scene and keep the bathroom clean. Biofuel is the fuel which is produced from organic products and wastes. Common commercially used biofuels are bioethanol, biodiesel, and biomethane. Bioethanol is made from sugar, algae, wheat, and sugar beet. Biodiesel is made from vegetable oil, algal lipids, animal fats. Biomethane can be produced from waste organic material, sewage, agriculture waste, domestic waste. Importance of biofuel Biofuels are essentially required in order to reduce the dependency on conventional fossil fuel reduce environmental pollution and so to protect against global warming, reduce dependency or reliance on foreign oil, so it reduces the import cost and improve nation's economy, increase the rural economy, meeting the global energy demand. Biofuel is made by reacting vegetable oil or animal fat with an alcohol, usually methanol or ethanol. This process separates the glycerin from the oil or fat. The biofuel is a renewable source of energy. There are several types of fuels. They are methanol, ethanol, biodiesel, diesel and natural gases. The model shows the process through which sugarcane is used to produce biodiesel. Sugarcane is grown in sugar fields. The sugarcane is harvested and then sent to the factories. Here the sugarcane juice is extracted. The sugarcane juice is further transported to the mixer where sulfidation and limine takes place. The juice along with yeast is then transported to fermentation and distillation chamber. The biofuel is finally collected in the molecular sieve from where it is transported and used as a source of fuel in vehicles. The remaining foliage and sugarcane leaves is used as manure for plants. Biofuel is the future of energy in this world. Today we are going to illustrate how algae is used as a source of electricity and is supplied to AC school. As we all know, electricity is the most important blessing of science to mankind. It is an essential part of modern life. But the methods of generating electricity is expensive. So we are introducing a new method to produce electricity from algae. The device used to generate electricity through algae is called BPV. By 
bio photovoltaic cell the bpv has anode cathode and an external circuit so algae is a microorganism plant that is used to generate electricity the bpv converts the solar energy from the sun into electrical energy the algae is placed at the anode side and is provided with sufficient amount of sunlight carbon dioxide and water the algae belongs to the plant kingdom and undergoes the process of photosynthesis and utilizes sunlight carbon dioxide and water to produce oxygen and protons in this process of photosynthesis the electrons are also generated the electrons then move towards anode side and pass through the external circuit to the cathode the movement of electrons generate electricity the electrons then reach the cathode side and combine with oxygen and protons to produce water the model demonstrate how we can use algae as a alternate source of electricity to ac school the model consists of multiple algae ponds for algae as grown the algae undergo photosynthesis to produce glucose and water the energy is derived from the sun and absorbed through the solar panel for photosynthesis electricity is generated through electrolysis of water using anode and cathode plates in the algae pond electricity is supplied from the power plant to ac school algae can also be used for various other application protein source of animal feed production of biodiesel production of ethanol used as a fuel in vehicle fish food algae, algae the power, power plant, plant of, of the future. future wait i will show you through our projects Not only a school but an entire village or a city can be automated through robotics. I am tired. There are so many. Don't tell me now you have a technology where I can sit here and simply give instructions and many of my works will be done. You mean to say fully automatic? Wait, relax and chill. Have some water. A smart dustbin is a dustbin in which you can dispose waste in a mechanical way without using human energy. The components are the ultrasonic sensor, Arduino board, servo motor and an adapter. First component is the ultrasonic sensor. The ultra- ultrasonic sensor sends and receives ultrasonic waves. When an object blocks the ultrasonic sensor, it sends a signal to the Arduino Uno. This is the method used by bats in eco-location. Arduino Uno. Arduino Uno is the brain of this project. It is a board with a microcontroller in it. It is coded with Arduino CC. The servo motors. The servo motor is a linear actuator. It can only turn 180 degrees. It has a proportional motor and a suitable sensor for precise control. Adapter. The adapter takes an input of 220 volts and an output of 9 volts for the Arduino. Solar flow cleaning robot. It is an appliance used for easy and instant cleaning and remote control operation. The components used in this project are transmitter, receiver, chassis, jumper wires, motor and caster wheels. The robot has a RF remote which is used to send the radio waves. The robot also has a RF receiver circuitry which is used to receive the radio waves. It has a battery which is constantly charged by the solar panel when it is exposed to the sun rays let me introduce our projects on home automation let me start with the first project obstacle avoider it detects the obstacles and navigate the robot from the unknown environment and also our collision the components are arduino ir sensor micro material and the jumper wire arduino is an open secure hardware and a software company that designs and manufactures single board microcontrollers ir sensor is a radiational sensor in a range of 780 nanometer micro material content pores with diameter less than 2 nanometer jumper wire is a electronic wire in a cable with a pin our second project is hand sanitizer hand sanitizer is also known as hand antiseptic or hand rub it is a liquid gel or foam generally used to kill many viruses bacteria microorganisms on the hand hand sanitizer is less effective at killing certain kinds of germs such as norovirus cross the species but washing hands is much effective and healthier Our third project is the air cooler. 
It is a machine that cools air around it. It works when the switch is turned on and starts cooling the air. This is a model on Arduino Village. Arduino is an open electronics board. Let me introduce you to LDR which has been used in this project. LDR or light dependent sensor is a component that changes with light the light that is fallen upon it. It is used on light sensing circuits. The components in the LDR is Arduino board, LDR sensor, battery, LED and jumper wires. Arduino board is a microcontroller board. LDR is a passive component that decreases resistance with respect to receiving light. A 9 volt battery is being used for the source of electric power for this project. LED is a semiconductor light source that emits light when current flows through it. A jumper wire is an electric wire with a pin attached at each side which is used to interconnect the components. Now to Harshita to know about reed switch. Let me introduce you to the reed switch. A reed switch is an electromagnetic switch used to control the flow of electricity in a circuit. The contacts are usually normally open, closing when a magnetic field is present or they may be normally closed and open when a magnetic field is active. Reed switches activated by magnets are commonly used in mechanical systems as proximity sensors. Examples are door and window sensors in burglar alarm systems and tamper proofing methods. The components are Arduino boards which are able to read inputs and turn it into an output, the reed switch which gets activated when a magnet is placed nearby based on the status of the switch the LED connected will be activated. The LED glows when the electricity is passed through it. The battery which is used to provide the energy. Over to Joven to show the connections. Over to Aryan to explain about ultrasonic sensor. Ultrasonic sensors are devices that generate or sense ultrasound energy. It is used to measure distance by using ultrasonic waves. The components in this is Arduino board, ultrasonic sensor and jumper wires. Over to Harshita to know about analog temperature. Let me introduce you to analog temperature sensor. Analog devices along with analog temperature sensor provide current or voltage output proportional to the absolute temperature. A temperature sensor is a device used, used to measure temperature. In simple words, these devices convert temperature to voltage. Within computers, there are temperature sensors to see it does not overheat. Home appliances like toasters, coffee machines and dishwashers contain sensors. The components are Arduino board which is used to read the input and give the output. Analog temperature sensors used to measure the temperature. So that explains our project on the Arduino village. So in this episode, we saw how biotechnology is uniquely positioned to replace polluting materials and chemical processes with more sustainable biological alternatives. This is a scientific evolution in which living beings have specialized in producing and recycling all kinds of compounds and materials with lower pollution than traditional methods. Even the robotics revolution is rapidly accelerating in the branches of computer science and engineering. Robotics involves design, construction, operation and the use of robots. I mean even our robot arm. That's all for this week. Stay tuned for next week for a new episode of Technophilia. Signing off, Alina and Tanushree from, from AC, AC Studio. Studio.